Hey everyone, I'm Agonix here and welcome back to a brand new Halo video. So sorry I haven't done a Halo Saturdays in two weeks. I didn't do one last week because I wasn't in the mood to make one. But yeah, I will be making one today. So basically, uh, I remember a few weeks ago I, I s said on Twitter that I was actually going to do a review on this certain Forge object that I had found. But basically, right, um, I forgot to do it, which is why I'm doing it now. Because I only just remembered it yesterday and yeah. So anyways, uh, let me just show you all this thing. So basically, in this video of Halo, so today's we're going to be doing a Halo 5 Forge creation review. And this is one of the things that I started doing on my channel when I first did start. You know, I started doing like Forge map reviews, Forge creation reviews, and here's the creation, guys. So basically, I'm pretty sure this is a Batmobile, correct me if I'm wrong. And it is made by, sorry if I do pronounce this wrong, Yucky Cage 0501 or Yuki Cage 0501, but yeah. Now, if you do want to find this for yourself, you know, uh, I'll actually leave the gamer tag on the top corner of the screen, as you can see. So, yeah, and also the file name of the object as well, so then you can see it. But, yes, basically, I'm pretty sure this is meant to be a Batmobile. The file name is BatM2. So, yeah, and basically, I like how there's the thruster here. And thrusters and stuff. So basically, uh, is this drivable? Well, yes it is. So when I was placing it, you all obviously saw the ghost pop out. Basically, what you need to do is you need to go to the side of it. So yes, guys, you don't need to go on top of it for this one. No, you go on the side of it, you know, kind of like if there was a door or something there, and then you just press X and boom, you're in. So basically, uh, one thing that I do like about driving this is that it's really smooth, but at the same time, right, as you can see, it's like bumping around. But what I mean by it being smooth, right, is that there's, like, no vibrations whatsoever, you know, and it just seems smooth, you know, the way things are moving, you know, but still, again, like I said, it's still, like, bumping around, as you can see, but, yeah, I mean, nothing can be perfect, you know, there's always going to be flaws when it comes to this sort of stuff, but, yeah, I overall do like this, uh, this could be used for some sort of Batman map if you're ever making something like that, you know, so, yeah, person who made this obviously did a good job how much objects did it take to make this it took 118 objects to make this so a lot of work went into this you know like I've reviewed creations before that are really tiny but they've gotten like so much objects into them you know just so then they can get them precise and on point and that's what I really like about this everything seems very precise so yeah as you can see, you can see all like the objects that it is made up out of. So yeah, obviously it would have taken quite a while, you know, and I do like how you have to get in from the side, you know, with other creations, you know, you have to get like right on top of them. But yeah, with this one, you just have to go to the sides in order to get in it. And so yeah. And anyways, guys, there's not much else to say. So if you did enjoy this Halo 5 Forge creation review, then be sure to like and subscribe. I haven't actually continued uh, making my Forge map that I've been making for the last few Halo Saturdays, but don't worry, I will be getting to that in the next Halo Saturdays episode. And so anyways, guys, without further ado, I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye-bye.